Have you ever asked yourself, I exist, but I do not belong to what's natural? That's what a Nikta would probably feel like. Being a dinosaur created out of pure imagination, the Nikta has yet to establish his place in the natural order. Despite the species name being Nikta, being another word for Nikt which means night, this Nikta's name is Crepuscule, which means dusk or twilight. This is the story of the false dinosaur who searches for his place in the natural order. Even if you're a creature based out of fantasy, it still doesn't accept you from being targeted by others. The creatures of Gondwa do not care whether you're fantasy or not. As long as you're made out of meat, Crepuscule will be a fine meal, just like any other Juvis. To reach where he wants to be, he has to scale down the mountain. This is no easy task and one slip-off can cause death. On his way, he seems to have spotted a potential meal, but he misses. Crepuscule, however, are eager to test his fangs. Making his way back up, he ambushes the sleeping raptor. The sleeping Latinovinatrix stood no chance. Perhaps being so high up, he thought that he was safe from any predators. This fallen raptor will have the honor of being Crepuscule's first trophy. A trophy is only given to those who are successful hunters, and now Crepuscule are one of them. His new destination is the home cave in the mountains over the crevice. To reach those mountains, he will have to go over the land bridge. Easier said than done, these land bridges are easy trap spot for the carnivores to use. More left of a natrix, probably of the same pack. They might have tracked Crepuscule to get revenge for the fallen comrade. In any case, Crepuscule know that he is no match for an entire pack. He will have no choice but to wait in the bushes in hope that they will leave. Too close for comfort. These thick bushes and foliage are his only salvation. Crepuscule has survived the close ordeal. 
but the letter in Natrix packs might still be around. His only chance for survival is to make it to the whole cave, and he will have to take a far more dangerous route. One route that might have him scale the mountainside. He finds a place where the hill is much sloper. It is also covered with a bit more foliage. Should the latter in Natrix packs be here, he at least have some cover. After confirming he doesn't hear any more footsteps, he makes a run for it. The whole cave is right around the corner. Just up the hill. Safety are within reach. There it is. Safe at last. This cave will be Crepuscule's safe haven. He will only go out when he needs to hunt or need water. For now, he can rest easy knowing that nothing can reach him. A long time has passed and Crepuscule is now a sub-adult. The name already hints at it. Nyktas are fantastic hunters during night. Crepuscule has slept the day away, and as the moon rises on the horizon, so does his hunting instinct. Even if you're a creature born from fantasy, this fantasy clearly made you to be a killer. The question now is, what will this killer kill? Sound of a struggling animal are arousing the crepuscule. He's unsure where it comes from, but he knows it is close by. The sound of a critter being chased out from his home. He knows exactly where that is, but it is not that he wants. He sees something else by a berry bush. A Kentrosaurus. A perfect meal! The spikes on the Kentrosaurus are dangerous. Just by being close, he will get some serious bleed from it. The Kentro, however, have also sustained some serious damage from Crepuscule. He is most likely an inexperienced Kentro, due to the fact that he is running away rather than fight. After playing cat and mouse a bit, Crepuscule decides to finish this. It's time to give the finishing blow. Of course, the tail and spikes are still dangerous. Crepuscule cannot afford to attack recklessly. Again, the Kentro is fleeing. Again, Crepuscule will chase. The Kentro heads towards more foliage. Perhaps he is hoping to lose Crepuscule in the bushes. Being stopped by a log, Crepuscule loses the sight of the Kentro. You can still smell him close by. The smell of blood only amplify his drive to kill. But for now, the Kentro is lost. You do know that he is close by, 
If he skirmish through the foliage, he will eventually hit him. The question is, which bush? Jackpot! The Crepuscule's midnight snack is served on a plate made out of leaf. Sometimes later, Crepuscule is now a full adult. Sounds and smells, even through the rain, arouses him to hunt. A young iguanodon. Time to test his metal. Crepuscule is not foolish enough to jump after. Fall damage is a serious thing. This iguanodon will not escape. Now goes his first target. His skills for killing will come in handy for later, but the thoughts of killing will have to wait. Crepuscule's next task will be something nobody expected. Turn the power to destroy to a power that will protect. The call of a young Nikta. This is the first time Crepuscule have seen someone else of his kind. It is no wonder that his maternal instinct will kick in. But being a lone parent are no easy task. Knowing his own limits, he knows that Crater is not a place to raise children. With his son, he leaves the place in search for another, easier and safer. In the coming years, he will be at his most aggressive. Nothing shall come to harm his child. The job would be simpler if he had a pack, but being a creature of fantasy, it is difficult to even locate someone when you don't even know how to do it. Years have passed and Junior is now sub-adult. Once he is hit adult, Crepuscule will take him out to hunt. Junior has been an obedient child, always listen to father when he needs to. So far, Crepuscule haven't had any problems hunting. He hasn't run into anything dangerous yet. But those days are about to be over. Junior are now adult, but it's difficult to celebrate when you hear the stomps of another predator. Knowing that Junior has been well trained, Crepuscule will let him take charge of this hunt. A young Tyrannosaurus Rex. Junior still have a lot to learn, but this will be a good beginning. His first hunt, hunting down a young Tyrant King. Making sure that they don't lose the sight of it 
they follow it. It would seem that the prey knows of their intention. And with a roar, the hunt has begun. A bone crushing bite. Too bad for the Rex. They are two. With a roar of victory, Junior is now ready to try even bigger targets. There's always that one thought that linger in every parent's mind. Will my children be okay after I am gone? In Crepuscule's case, he would like Junior to partake in one last apex hunt. A young Yanatosaurus. This hunt will be Crepuscule's last act as a father. He will now know if his son is really ready to face the world alone. Waiting for the right time to strike, they wait in anticipation. Now is as good as time as any. With Toxin flowing through the Gigantosaurus veins, he will gradually lose his ability to do charge attacks. Having the battle close to a ledge is not a good idea. Preppy school gotta be careful so the Giga doesn't use it against them. And with this, the task is accomplished. More time has passed, and Junior are nowhere to be seen. He has most likely moved out of the nest and started on his own somewhere else. For Crepuscule, it will make hunting a bit more difficult. Solo hunters are more likely to die. Footsteps. About to be erased from the desert sand. Crepuscule's gotta be fast before they vanish completely. Lucky for him, these tracks 
are tracks of something big. Bad news, it is something big. Bigger means bigger target. Bigger target, more difficulty for a solo hunter. A rather unfavorable sight and unfavorable odds. Another tyrant lizard. Last time, Crepuscule got bone broken, but he had an easier time due to the Tyrannosaurus Rex being smaller and he had Junior by his side. This might be his last hunt. But Tyrannosaurus Rex is no fool either. He knows he is no match for Crepuscule's mobility and speed. Letting him come to him is a good strategy. And Crepuscule's gotta be careful that he doesn't get stuck on the rocks. This cannot be a drawn out battle. Crepuscule needs more stamina. If he gets bone broken, he is as good as dead. He needs to put some distance between him and the Rex. Crepuscule knows that he has no power to inflict a serious blow to the Rex. He knows the Rex will die from a thousand cuts. This is when Crepuscule are reminded of his last task with Junior. The Giga used environment to his advantage. Why can't Crepuscule? The question now is, will the Rex take the bait? If he can lure the Rex over to by the cliff, by the ledge, it doesn't matter if he gets bone broken, and he could probably push the Rex off the cliff. Follow the light, Rex. Follow me to the edge. This is not a trap. The Rex are hesitant. He seem to understand that Crepuscule are planning something. Crepuscule has to taunt him. As soon as the Rex gets close to the edge, Crepuscule will do all he can to push him. Take the bait. You know, there were a spark of brilliance in there somewhere, it was just poorly executed.